Hey guys, this is Mega G Crypto. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. I'm going to be showing you guys a potential long that I'm looking at. I'll also show you guys a short that I'll be taking a look at in the coming few days to possibly a few weeks. Uh, there is a target towards the upside that Bitcoin could potentially go to, which is around $18,000. We'll see if it can go up there in the first place. And if it does, I'll talk to you guys about a short. If this sounds interesting. Let's get started. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Also, make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. It does help out the algorithm when you hit the like button, so make sure to do so. Uh, if you guys are interested, check out the link in the description below. This link will give you access to my Discord group, which is this little page right over here. If you guys want to learn how to trade, you can check out the trading educational videos on the left-hand side. And I tell you guys exactly my trading style. I'm going to be adding a lot more videos to this in the coming few months. Right now, there are about 21 videos, but I'm, I'm going to be adding a lot more. However, the Discord is absolutely free. So if you guys want a good community, you can check out the Discord. If you guys want to learn how to trade during this bear cycle, then you can check out the Patreon link, which will give you access to these videos. Now, all right, I'm back in action. Let's take a look. You can finally see me. Uh, we'll take a look at the charts right now. Um, before we do, I'm letting you guys know that I am flying out. I'm going down to Costa Rica on Friday. It's, it's going to be a boys trip. We're going to go to Costa Rica, travel across the country and uh, check it out. And uh, yeah, so I'll be gone for about, I think about seven to 10 days. I'm leaving on Friday. So make sure to do another video right before I leave to Costa Rica. I'm not going to be taking my laptop with me because I've seen videos of monkeys entering into your Airbnbs and taking your shit. So I'm not really down for monkeys to take my shit. Uh, and I just bought this laptop, so I'd rather not risk it. Uh, but yeah, I'll make another video possibly Thursday before I leave, and uh, we'll see what happens from now till Thursday. All right, we'll see what happens from now till Thursday, and we'll see uh, if Bitcoin does what I say it's going to be doing based off what the charts are telling me. We start off looking at Bitcoin from the weekly aspect. On the weekly aspect, I've talked about this many times. Uh, when 17.5k was hit, I told you guys that it's unlikely for 17.5k to be the bottom. Um, a lot of guys were saying that it is the bottom, we're going to go up. But it wasn't showing me anything to prove that it was the bottom. Uh, I want you guys to pay attention to something right over here. If you see over here how we have a high, we have another high over here, I should say, a lower high. Then a lower high, then a lower high, then a lower high, then a lower high. And then finally, a lower high. So what this is showing us is it's a trend. We're trending towards a downside. This is also showing us that institutional order flow is towards a downside. The institutions are shorting BTC on the weekly aspect. And every time we make a lower high and another lower high and another lower high, we have stop losses above each of these areas because this is how they safeguard themselves, right? Now, for the past, when, when did we make our first site? 2021, October, it's 2023 now, so it's been more than a month. It's been a month and uh, it's been, a, sorry, more than a year. It's been a year and three months. Uh, we've still been following this downtrend for a year and three months. Nothing has changed, all right? Uh, for us to be considered bullish, we at least have to start breaking the previous lower high. And the previous lower high is coming in at 21K. We are currently at 17K. We haven't done anything to show that we are bullish at all on the macro aspect. We're still hitting lower highs after lower highs after lower highs. So just be aware of this and be, be aware of the fact that, okay, yes, dollar cost averaging at these levels would be a good idea, but we could still go down. Uh, one confirmation is if we start breaking above the previous lower high, which is at 21K. We are currently at 17. We haven't done that. We made this type of descending triangle. We broke towards the downside. The target of the descending triangle is coming in at 14K. We didn't hit 14K. We came down to 15.5K and we made a move towards the upside. Uh, it is still very possible to go towards 14K. All right, it is very possible. Uh, another thing I want to point out from all of these lower highs over here is every time we form this lower high, we retraced up towards the golden zone. Uh, the golden zone is the 50 and the 618. So as you see from this high to this low, we hit the 50 and we push down. Right, the golden zone. 
uh, and we just keep doing this over and over again we can see from this as well from this high to this low we hit the golden zone from this high to this low we hit the golden zone we just keep doing this and we nicely uh push ourselves towards the downside uh, when we made this descending triangle towards the downside our target is not hit a 14k there's still downside to go when we broke this area we have something called a mitigation block now what is a mitigation block you know those guys on youtube that you watch apart from me of course uh, all those really optimistic guys that when they look at the charts they say that we're only going to go up and those guys on youtube the moon boys that told you that all right we're not going to go below 35k then we go below 35k we're not going to go below 26k we go below 26k we're not going to go believe below 17.5k and we do that again those guys are guys that have been telling you those guys have been telling you to i've been telling you that 17.5k is the bottom people have been tricked they've been buying it at 17.5k and they've been trapped they've been buying it at 35k they've been trapped they've been buying it at 25k and they're trapped now this area of 17.5k to 18k to 18.5k this entire structure this is referred to as a mitigation block the bottom aspect of it is referred to as a mitigation block why are we calling it a mitigation block because the people that are trapped with their longs at 18 to 19 to 20k their longs within the structure they want to mitigate their risk and get out of their position that they're currently in which makes 18.7 to 18.8k a very strong resistance area okay so let me just repeat that selves the guys that are trapped up over here they're like oh shit we're down uh we're down we bought at 19k 20k we're down like 22 percent this is a big dump the economy is taking a, a hit uh the feds are still tightening what do we do we're down at such a big risk okay hold up now we're only down 13 percent if we can come up over here which is the the lower resistance area we can possibly get out with a 6% loss rather than a 23% loss. So these guys that are trapped within this area will try to mitigate their risk, get out of this position if we do come up to 18.6k. And that will make sense if you look at the Fibonacci as well. This is the golden zone around 18.6k to 19k. So it is possible to come up to these regions of 18.5 to $19,000. Let's take a look at something else over here. This is the daily aspect. We have made something on the daily aspect. We have made a double bottom. Okay. So there are two ways to create a double bottom. The first way is upon that back test, because we generally tend to back test a double bottom. Upon the back test, there is a really good longing opportunity towards the upside if it shows rejection. Upon the back test, if it doesn't hold a support and it breaks below, there's a really good shorting opportunity rather than a longing opportunity towards a downside. Okay, so there are two ways to trade a double bottom. As of right now, I do think the upside is more likely than the downside. And our target for this double bottom is coming in at 17.5K. $17,500 is the target. So if we do come back down to uh, the exact target, 16,950. I'll be taking you long. I'll be placing an entry right over there. My stop loss somewhere around here. And I'll be taking a one to three towards the upside. Okay, simply put, I'll repeat what I just said. Let's go down to the four hourly aspect to take a better look. So if we do come back to back test uh, 16,950. Okay, 16,950. I will, in fact, I can bring this lower down a little higher up. I'll be placing my entry over there. If it shows rejection, I'll be taking you long up to 17.5k. If it shows the rejection upon the back test, this in fact will give me a one is to 4.5. If I risk a thousand dollars, I can make about four thousand five hundred dollars with this trade, which is a pretty good trade in my opinion. We're also making something that is referred to as an A sending uh, wedge, right? An A sending wedge. An A sending wedge has a bearish bias. Again, I know this might be a little complex because I'm explaining it in a different way. Uh, in the beginning of the video, I spoke about how we're making lower highs on the macro. There is no bullishness yet unless and until we break above 21k, then I can say, okay, we broke above this lower high. Institutional order flow could be shifting to bullish now. As of right now, there's no bullishness. If I take a look at the daily aspect, institutional order flow on the daily aspect is higher lows. So this is the daily. That was the weekly. On the daily, you see we have higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. 
and higher lows. So as of right now, we are bullish on the daily. But the structure we're making is a bearish structure. And we are going towards a mitigation block. So ideally, if we do break, if we do go up over here, this can be a good shorting opportunity at 18.5k. But theoretically, if we break below this ascending wedge, this is the perfect shorting opportunity. And I'll tell you the target for this ascending wedge, and I'll be taking a look at the short as well. Because if I do get a nice short over here, then I can possibly hold this for a few weeks. Because if we take a look at the past, when we hit these areas, when we push down, we didn't come up to it for a few weeks. Like over here, we, in fact, we never came up to it, right? We never come up to a lower high. So if we do come up to these areas over here, as I said, the mitigation block, which is also within that ascending wedge, this will be another lower high. This could possibly mean you could hold the short all the way down to $14,000, which is the target of this descending triangle, right? 14K is the target. So again, this short could be an excellent short to open up. So again, I'll repeat this. This is the short that I want to hold as a swing short. We come up possibly to these areas. We respect that double bottom. But the moment we start breaking below this ascending wedge, this is when I'll open up a really nice short all the way down to $14,000. $14,000 is the target. This, if this is regarded as an ascending wedge, we haven't respected it. We haven't broken the ascending wedge towards the downside to show us that this will happen. But if we do break towards the downside, that this is the target of the ascending wedge, the measure move is $14,000, right? The measure move is $14,000. And also, as I said earlier, the measure move of this is $14,000. So we have reasons to come down here further to about 14K. So that's how I'm seeing it, guys. Simply as simply, simple as that. Right? We respect this ascending wedge. I could possibly open up a short over here. Stop loss right above the immediate lower high. And uh, take this all the way down. Right? This is a 1 is to 5. You risk 1,000, you make 5,300 in this case. Right? So I'm seeing this. So these are my two entries right now I'm taking a look at. I'm first of all taking a look at a potential long over here uh, for this double bottom. The target, the measure move of the double bottom is towards the upside, towards this fair value gap. This gives me a 1 to 4.5. This is a good outcome. Uh, the second thing I'm taking a look at is a short as well. If you we respect this ascending wedge and we break the line, the trend line towards the bottom and we make a move towards the downside, institutional order flow will now be going from lower, higher, higher lows to now lower highs and push the price down. Um, I'm also taking a look at, I'm also being aware of the fact that this double bottom could also be a liquidity grab to push us down. So I'm being concerned, I'm being very, uh, I'm gonna be looking at this very closely when we come back for the back test over here. If we come back for the back test to see if we show rejection in the first place and if we show rejection, I'll be taking a look at a long. Okay, so this is my uh, my analysis for the week. Let's see what happens. Uh, it is the four hour time frame that I'm taking a look at this for. So it'll probably happen before I fly out to Costa Rica. And I'll see if I can enter this long before then. Okay, or short, depending upon what happens upon this back test. But this is the this is the short that I'm really taking a look at. This one, this ascending wedge, because uh we've been making lower highs throughout, right? We've been making low highs throughout, so this could be an excellent setup. Okay, so thank you for watching. Check out again, check out the links in the description below. Uh when I do sometimes when I do call out my trades, I do call out my trades and I do tell you guys when I'm longing or shorting. Uh, so if you guys are interested, you guys want to know when I'm taking the short or that long, I might call it out at that point of time. And I'll be like, listen, I'm taking the short, I'm taking this long. We have rejection. One is to four, one is to five, which is a good risk to reward. If you guys are interested in that, check it out. And again, if you guys are interested in the way I trade, how I trade, uh, you can check out the link in the description, the Patreon link. You guys want to learn the skill of trading, check that out so you can learn how to trade as well. All right. Thank you and have a good one. Bye.